Do I have... that's the wrong thing. Do I have my overload? Can somebody else do overload? Oh, sabotage might be good. Wrong thing. Warp isn't going to do much to him, is it? Didn't do anything to him. What's grenade? Is it up? I have a sabotage. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender. Tell me where the quarrying is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. I like Zama as well. No use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, It'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. I do like his armor. Meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. I wanted him alive. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Yeah, I agree. We go now. But I need to loot everything in this room. It's not exactly great, is it? Let's shoot our way out and go and save this quarian. Um, can I not look over? Well, that did nothing. Pop up. Pop up again. Oh, because it's stuck right there. We get more XP for a kill. Oh, X is... Grenade. Kill confirmed indeed. Right, let's go. Quarian lost in less than three minutes. Um, don't get stuck on scenery. It's quite linear, you can only go one way. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Fist's Where's dead. No way. The deal's off. Nice work, Tally. Ouch. Um... He's dead now. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. <laughs> Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? 
friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Let's do it. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Shut up, Udina. Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up and I'll this tell Quarian you. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we Such should an just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, Such the Geth have law. never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. Yep. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. It's always a weapon with you. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. It does sound familiar, I guess. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They do need to the know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? She's there right. is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. 
Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. I'm thinking Garrus can back us up with Saren until he has the proof. Is what I'm thinking anyway. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. I want to do a couple of little bits before we go to the tower. Samesh Batia, here we go. Excuse me. But we leveled up, didn't we? Right, let's sort you out first. Um Assault training increases weapon damage, which can be good. I don't really care about sniper rifles in this one. Let's do that. Uh, Tally is going to get six in there. Let's open dampening. Basic armor for the shield boost. And one in pistols, I guess. We all have the same health. Um, we're going to get one in charm because it's there and it makes sense. And we are very charming. First aid could be good. I'm going heavy into. Heavy into this stuff though. I think I'm going to take first aid because that is the group heal. Yeah. And I don't think it uses med kits. So that would mean we've got some big healing if we all go down. High Cal 2 is quite tempting. Uh, pistol. Armor piercing is plus 20 to synthetics. Hi, Cal. Minus 20 to heat absorption, though. That's, mm, that's a pretty big... But for your sniper rifle... Armor head rounds... Round. No, I don't want minus damage. Hammerhead and high cal. I I'm not we Could you spare a moment of your time? We don't need to Baff on with uh, armor upgrade and stuff. I wanted Ash here for this conversation. So I'm going to wait. C-Sec. Let's do C-Sec for the Keepers. Then the Wards. Does... Uh, this one takes me to the Hangar, right? Yes. Um, keepers... Corbin, Chobin, Chobin. The Krogan group had contracted binary healers. Presidium with a long range for the council. And then for a return of investment money when the study swap out for Ash and talk to Samesh. I think Look at that beautiful ship. Look at it. Right, last one.
It's such an odd sound. Beautiful ship. Uh, right, okay, let's let's present another profile in courage. A devoted wife and talented chef, Serviceman Batia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. You don't need to skip the lifts. Is this going to take me where I want? No, that's a lift. Um, it's probably easy to do this. Ward's Marketplace. Marketplace. Markets. And this should take us straight into the cutscene. Uh, no it won't. Because we've got to go downstairs. And I do want to go and see if I can speak to Harkin. Chauvin, you idiot. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorvan. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... Over our heads. Carry on. Talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? So. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there will... We've already there. finished it. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I can't remember what benefits this gives us. That's the only thing. Um, can we speak to... Harkin? Or not? No, he's not here, is he? Oh no, he is here. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. We'll speak to Septimus as well. Go away. Let me let me drink. I think you gotta talk to him before you do Garrus. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! 
Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. You're pathetic. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by mobbing in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. <sighs> Maybe you're Go on, right, you tell her. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right, I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. <laughs> Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Oh, fine. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. We'll exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. We'll see. Let me check something. Codex. Personal history. Uh, ships and stations, yeah. So we did take the spacer background. I got business here, but not with you. I don't see the point. I'm not against it. This just isn't the kind of place that I think Shepard would um, go to while he's on duty. Um, I think he'd make a great general. I don't know if we'll ever get that far, but I think he'd make a great general. Uh, where's the thing? I want to double check. I can't remember how we do it, um, how we change. I know there's a way that we can change squad mates on the fly. Squad... No... Map... Oh, why can't I remember it? Also... Right, we've got lots to do in the wards. But first, we're going to have a chat with a council. Sorry we're late, Anderson. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? 
Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Saren's bringing them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a fool. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I don't like I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers I've seen wiped out all the you people wouldn't believe. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! Bad move, Udina. A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Let's go. Making history. Commander Shepard, step forward. Big damn hero indeed. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. About time. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Oh, I plan Anderson, to. Come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Udine is still a jackass. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on, right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus! Spectre training unlocked. And I think we leveled up. Because you always level up at that point. Right, what do we got?